Hello, welcome to Morris Money, where we give you stock tips in under five minutes. I'm your host, Morris Willie. Morris Money breaking news. Subscriber inflation data has been released. Month over month subscriber inflation is 15.9% below analyst expectations. If you want to raise inflation, subscribe to Morris Money. Today, I'm breaking down Alice's Form 1012G and everything you need to know. For this video, I'm going to be breaking down the company's financials. To start with, let's look at current assets. Right now, the company has cash and cash equivalents of $273,000. Other assets total $35 million, which brings their total current assets to $35.5 million. Other assets stand at $18 million, with fixed assets at $1.6 million, totaling assets at $55.3 million. Current liabilities stand at $25.9 million. Non-current liabilities, notes payable at $7.9 million. Other non-current liabilities stand at $636,000, taking the total non-current liabilities at $8.6 million, and total liabilities at $34.5 million. Shareholder equity stands at $20.7 million, bringing total liabilities and shareholder equity at $55.3 million, which is interesting. Unless I'm missing something and you can tell me down below, total liabilities and shareholder equity is the exact same as their total assets. Moving on though, for the three months ended June 30th, 2022, net revenue was standing at $19.6 million with a gross profit of $5.8 million. Operating expenses were at $4.2 million, bringing their net profit to $1.1 million. It's definitely interesting to go through the numbers now, especially with them having a Form 10 and you see everything broken down. Let me know what you think about the numbers below and again, tell me if there's anything you want me to break down from the Form 10. Please don't take this video as financial advice and thank you for watching Morris Money.